Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Leslie here for those of you who still don't know me. I have decided to share with you guys what my health condition is. And I've received so many messages of women who have the same exact thing that I have. And because it's already exposed to the world, why not share some awareness and talk about my experience for those of you who don't know what it is and how serious this condition is. I have PCOS and it stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome and the proper definition for it that's on Google is a hormonal disorder causing enlarged ovaries with small cysts on the outer edges. Then it also says the cause of polycystic ovarian syndrome isn't well understood but may involve a combination of genetic and envir environmental factors. I don't know anyone in my family that has PCOS. Back in like, um, when I was 16 or 17 around there, I went to my gynecologist and I told him, I don't know what's going on, but I've had my menstrual for two months or a little over two months. And he didn't diagnose me with PCOS. He just went ahead and gave me birth control so I can regulate it. And so I was on birth control for a really long time. And it did help, but I, didn't, I don't like to take pills because I forget all the time. But like, I would put an alarm on my phone and I would freaking turn it off and then forget about it. And there's some times that the alarm will go off and I'll pop my pill. I'm just not good at taking pills. So eventually I stopped taking birth control. I went to see another gynecologist, which is a lady. My first one was a guy. And she ended up diagnosing me with PCOS, I want to say in 2015. I think I was 21 years old. And I was on a trip with my father, visiting my family in um, Florida. So the doctor called me and she told me, Hey Leslie, um, got your results. I think you have PCOS. Um, and I'm like, what is that? And she's like, you know, you just have a lot of cysts around your ovaries. And it's just going to be harder for you to conceive. And I was like, what? My heart dropped to the floor. I was like, huh? And she's like, you don't have to worry. It's nothing too bad. And whenever you're ready to conceive, I'll give you a pill and it should help you and you should be fine. So she made it sound like it was the simplest thing in the world. And in fact, it's not. Although I've never really tried it because I was never ready to have a baby. I don't know how true that is. If I just pop a pill and it's supposed to help me conceive. Um, I was super sad. I was kind of depressed in Florida about it. But my, you know, my family was uplifting my spirits. So... I thank them for that and they're like don't worry about it you can have and then my family in New York was telling me like don't listen to the doctor it's whenever God says and he'll give you one so I've been holding on to that faith fast forward to what are like my symptoms with PCOS my hair falls a lot like my hair used to fall a lot when I was younger but now it's a, like a lot like I can't even just go like this it already just fucking falls off and that is so depressing I have suffered from acne but I managed to figure that out because I know diet plays a big part with acne also one of the reasons why I turned vegan is because of that because I wanted to know if I can tweak my body a little bit and see if I could lay off the birth control just eat cleaner and see if it will help with my hormones and stuff. Fast forward to like my most recent relationship. He also didn't understand why I had my period for two months because it did come back. Like I didn't have that problem for like maybe five, six months. And then out of nowhere, this sh it just comes back. I have my period for two months and it just doesn't stop. It's just bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. That's probably too much TMI. So he's like, oh no, you gotta get checked. Something's wrong with you. Deep down in my heart, I knew what it was because I've been down this road before. So we went to the hospital and we spent 
hours because you know the emergency room takes forever and we were like kind of in a rush to figure it out because we were like taking a flight um so we end up going to the emergency room this was my most recent checkup and this was actually the first time i got to see the image on our screen of what my ovaries look like when i finally did the ultrasound i looked over and she showed me what my ovaries look like and it literally looked like a necklace a pearl necklace that's what my ovaries look like it's just like a bunch of little balls around my ovary like a chain of them they're not like scattered everywhere they're literally all connected it literally looks like a pearl necklace oh man that was my first time actually seeing the image and i was just like that's not what i wanted to see that was a, a very scary thing to see i did not want to see that but um of course they didn't give me an explanation for why i've had my period for two months they just told me you know it's probably the pcos or whatever and there's really nothing they can give me for it so that was like a fake waste of time waiting in the hospital to just, just be told that it's because of what you have however i was told that by many people that if you drink a lot of beet juice that it can actually kill the cyst in your ovaries any cyst really um I haven't been consistent on that really but I do plan to but if you guys know any other remedies please share with me I want to share with you guys everything that I know there's another thing actually that someone put me on to this Dominican drink it's called Senora Mole I think that's how you pronounce it but they don't sell them in New York it's in DR that you have to get it but supposedly that it helps women who have PCOS or have like um, fertility issues. Um, I don't know how true it is, but from what I heard, it really works. Maybe I'll share with you guys that journey once I start. And you can probably do it with me too. And let's try to kill these freaking balls, little chain of balls in our ovaries because we need to get better. So yeah, you guys, that is what I have. I have PCOS, and I hope that this brought some awareness for people who don't know what it is. I don't want to say that we can have kids because it's not true. I've heard stories where women were diagnosed with PC PCOS, and they end up having two, three kids. So it's possible. Don't ever lose faith because ultimately it is in God's timing. It's whenever he says. No no one can say you can't have. So I don't like to say that I can have. I know there's extra steps that I have to take to help me. Um, I just never took those steps because I was never ready to have a kid. But when I, you know, when I find my soulmate and we're ready to have our children, I'm obviously going to take those measures. But in the meantime, even, though you, even if you're not ready to conceive, I strongly advise everyone that has PCOS to try that method to try drinking beet juice consistently daily and kill those and try to kill those cysts that's in your ovaries or anywhere in your body because I heard that is one major thing that helps I know that I have to be disciplined when drinking those beet juices so I hope that you guys get on this wave and get on this journey with me I'm finna buy a lot of beets and do it myself at home so also i read um, the comments yesterday on my video and i saw that you guys were talking about my voice and i should do an asmr video i didn't know what that was up until my girlfriend told me and then i read the comments and you guys defined it um i don't mind doing that that sounds pretty fun just comment below what topic i should do an asmr video on I'm thinking of doing that and then also comment below what other content you guys want to see from me I know some of you guys have been writing it, but keep them coming so I can make these videos for you guys Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys